Hello everyone, this is V, Veronica, Buzzing with V, part two is here. So let's go ahead and paper piece all the layers. There's so much going on here. I did have two mix-ups, so you will see that later. So you're gonna start with these pieces here. There is the back, the front, the top, and the two sides. So the solid pink is the lining for the jukebox and this is what it will look like. So removing the pieces and going to use some hot glue to glue down the front panel. So here I'm just checking to see where my pieces will lay at and I'm going to use some liquid glue so uh, just be um, very careful when applying your glue because it is a single sheet of cardstock and it tends to warp because it gets wet. And so I do fiddle with it for a little bit, but in the end I'm able to glue it down. Um, usually I use hot glue for this, but since I'm on camera, I decided to use liquid glue and um, it went well. However, I do still prefer hot glue. Heads up, this is where I mess up, so do not glue those two pieces down. Okay. Mistake number two is coming up next. This little piece here I have in my hand, do not glue it down just yet. Wait until after you add the window lining to glue that piece down. I don't like to use this technique, you know, removing the piece with he the heat tool when I'm this far into a project because I could unglue the rest of the project and it could just get messy. I was very scared here thinking that if I use this hot glue, the um, acetate was going to warp. So I'm so glad it didn't. I'm glad that none of the other pieces or the box didn't come undone. If that shadow box would have unglued itself, it would have been over for me. That's it. Game over. Bye. See you later. Also going to glue down the lining of the window there and uh, I did sew around it. Be extra careful if you're going to sew around these pieces because they're very thin pieces. I, I would recommend doubling up on cardstock or using 110 pound cardstock. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's very difficult. I had to go very slow and use caution. Here I'm just gluing back the piece that I removed. And so it all worked out, so happy for this. Yeah, use caution you guys when gluing down these pieces. They're very delicate and um, you can make a mistake. Be sure to try to plan everything out 
and I'm glad that you're able to see my tutorial in order to correct any mistakes that happen. So there I am correcting state mistake number two using the hot glue tool as well. I'm sorry, using the, um, not the hot glue, but the heat tool. And again, I could have unglued the, um, the box there in that corner and it would have just been all messy, but it, luckily it didn't happen i'm gluing down the back panel as well did not decorate this but and i don't think i will decorate the back panel i mean you could put like a pocket there to insert some more goodies for your recipients it's up to you you guys it's time to glue down the top layer and there is also a lining layer there or an accent and what you want to do is start slow because this this piece right here is round and if you glue it all together if you start like from one end to another it will um, tend to start moving to uh, the sides and then it's not going to be on your box anymore <laughs> <laughs> so start in the middle glue that piece down and then work your way down one of the sides it doesn't matter which side and um, you can see here do not go all the way to the edge because we still have to glue the other side panel and um, the reason why I do it this way is because uh, the sides are a bit long and I did that for a reason just in case you guys made mistakes you know you were you were able to cut a piece off here and there and make it work for you and so um this is the way i'm gluing it down gluing down the side panel now Time to glue the opposite side panel. Just take your time, you guys. Uh, slow and steady is best. Um, I wouldn't want you guys to make a mistake, ruin your project, and also your pattern paper. I start by gluing the bottom side down and I work my way up. Once the side is glued down, go ahead and glue the rest of the top panel down and it is all set. This is the box, you guys, looking good. Now we're gonna add the decorative elements, which is the lining. Same deal, just start with um, like a fourth, uh, fourth inch of glue and glue it to the top first, then work your way down the sides.
you don't have to do this part here I do snip the um, edges to match each side I'm a bit of a perfectionist so um, I have gotten better but um, I like those pieces or the seams to be um, leveled I try to adjust this piece here and I rip it a little bit, which um, was okay because I was able just to glue it down. It didn't rip completely. So, whew, thank my lucky stars there. <laughs> Working on the opposite side of the box, I'm going to glue all the pieces down as I did the other side. Gluing the backing down for the jukebox buttons. Quick tip, you can use some foam adhesive to make these pieces pop. So I added some shaker elements to this piece here. Um, this is mimicking the speakers of the jukebox and also added a lining and did some stitching. You glue with hot glue and you're done. Adding some word stickers from the collection that I'm using here. I'm showing you the tool that I used on the a speaker piece. Now gluing those hearts down with some hot glue. So these are buttons and you can make these buttons 3D if you'd like. Just add some foam adhesive there and you got a 3D uh, little button.
Well, you guys, that concludes this video. We are coming to an end here. This is part one of putting together this jukebox. The SVG file will be linked below. If you would like part one, you it'll be also linked below. Just click on the video link and it'll take you there to download part one of this jukebox. And so part two will be linked below as well so i hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for part three the final video i can't wait to show you guys what it's going to look like bye